everybody, Wise Ass Gamer hitting you up two days before this thing called Thanksgiving. So what's going on? How you doing? So before I get started, I want to address something really quick. To the five jackasses who down-thumbed a couple of videos I made ago of me admiring a train station. Listen, I get it. It was a, a spur, of the moment, spur of the moment video. But that elicited so much anger that you down thumbed it. I don't know. Don't you have something better to do with your time that you need to down thumb a video? So, not me saying something you disagree with. Not so you saying something harsh and, you know, denigrating or whatever. Admiring a train station. Anyway, I digress. So, conservatives, Republicans, those on the right, let's talk. You know, as mature adults, I know you're capable of that. We can talk as mature adults, can we not? Let's try this. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm a progressive. Or a liberal, or a democrat, or a social justice warrior, or whatever you like to use as a pejorative. I'm fine with that. Go ahead, go ahead do your worst. Let's talk. Let's talk about the recent election. Yeah, you know, this past election. You know, the one that was decided on that, on that uh, following Saturday. You know, the one to this day, your kicking and screaming and throwing temper tantrums. Listen, in the days following Election Day in 2016, I wasn't happy either. But how many times do I have to drive down, what, Sunrise Highway in uh, Belmore, New York, or Merrick, New York, and see a Klan rally? I'm sorry, Trump rally. I'm sorry, that was out of order. I want to keep this conversation civil. I digress. Let's talk about racism and bigotry. I mean, I said this before, and I'll say it again. No matter where you are on the, on the political spectrum, nobody has a monopoly on this thing called racism and bigotry. I mean, yes, those of us on the left are just as capable of being bigoted and racist as those on the right. So I know that, that not all of you are racist or sexist, or homophobic, or Christian dominionists. Okay, I know. Isn't it unfair that you're always assumed that that's what you are? That said, what makes y'all think that all of us, we hate police officers, we hate the military, we, uh, we want to take all the guns away, and we want to turn all the churches into mosques. Isn't that how it goes? In terms of guns, I don't care if you own a gun. If you want to own a gun, fine. You want to own a couple of guns, that's fine. Should you have one that kills hundreds of people with one boo 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 like that? No. No. In terms of the military, um, what we put into the what the money we put into the military should we putting that much money into the military we should at least cut that in half and uh, the money we put into the military should be going into mental health you know we can do so much more with mental health in this country different video for a different time the police and i know you think you know, you hear the terms defund the police and you think we want to fire them all and empty the jails and shit and, and cause mayhem. Should police be in charge of everything? Should shoot first and ask questions later be that whole thing? Or should there be more training for, what, de-escalation? I don't know. I want to see more of that. More de-escalation. You know? And another thing. 
is it it's not impossible to create a world where nobody has to commit a crime in the first place. If nobody ninety percent, I think nine out of ten times, most people commit crimes because they're desperate, and they, you know they they they're not getting ahead in life, and they need to pay their you know they just need to put food in there for them. They need to feed themselves and their children. You take away that need, okay, and then they run the, the crime. Watch the crime rate drop. And in terms of police using their guns, how about I want police shootings to be extremely rare? You know, I want it to be so rare that when it does happen, I'm literally shocked. You know, lately it's just like, what else is new? But I'm literally shocked. Oh, there was a police shooting? What happened? Uh... Assailant came out of that cop with an axe. Oh, 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 is there a video of that? Yeah, it's fully on video. He has an axe and everything, ready to lunge at the cop. Oh, no, and it's on video, and the axe-wielding jackass was shot to death. You know, I figured that would be the reason to use your gun as a cop. You know, your, your life is literally in danger. I'll end it on this. Conservatives, do you like being seen as the racist white supremacy party? Do you like being seen as the, the anti-woman party? Do you like being seen as the homophobic anti-LGBTQ plus party? The anti-able, the ableistic party or whatever? Just, do you like being identified as that? Do you like being stereotyped as that? Do you like that? And to those of us on the left... We're not perfect. We got our skeletons too. We got our idiots in our own party. Listen, I get it. But please stop with this whole, yeah, the Democrats were the KKK. The Democrats were... In the yes, they did. The Democrats did do that. Progressives were fighting against the Democrats then. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Andrew Jackson are not the same person. I mean, I've looked at all of, like, AOC's plans. Not one of them included a Indian Removal Act. <sighs> anyway, you got something to say? Comment sections below. Why is this gamer? Signing out.